Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot. Hello, Leo, and welcome to Sexy Tarot. Leo, this will be your edition of Sexy Is Snitching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Leo, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Leo, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find that energy resonates more with the cross watcher, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Leo, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find that energy does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and moon placements. There's a link to a free nature chart on the about page in my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accepted via cash app at dollar sign sexy tarot. All right, Leo, I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. Let me get to snitching on the break. So, Leo, here you are. And here's this air sign. Does not have to be. We have the king of wands. This is... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and we have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. I see a standoff. I see a standoff. So, Leo, you want to take the lead on something and take passion and action towards someone. However, this Queen of Swords has been hurt. And this Queen of Swords is saying what you want, why are you here, why are you returning. So, I want to see how this is going to play out. Y'all are at a standoff. One good shuffle for the Leo. Spirit. What does Leo need to know about the cross watcher? What does Leo need to know about the cross watcher spirit? Leo. How your person views you. How your person views you is the ten of swords. How your person feels about you is the eight of cups. What's on your person's mind, Leo, when it comes to you is the page of pentacles. What's at the root of the matter for your person, Leo, when it comes to you? The ace of swords. The blockage, the obstacle, the challenge in the way for your person when it comes to you, Leo, is the queen of wands. And this is the potential outcome. Leo, the reason you are viewing this video today is the nine of pentacles. This is you, Leo, feeling independent, stable, secure, having everything you need. But there's something weighing you down. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Wands, Justice, and the Queen of Cups. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy with this Queen of Cups. And others of you are dealing with a Libra. And Leo, someone is searching their emotions. It seems like you want to make something right. You want to shift the connection. You want to come in and you want to come in quickly and make it right. Okay, but this person is searching their emotions. They have their cup of love closed. They don't, they're not sure if they want to open up emotionally to this. And I have a feeling this is energy that you are trying to circle back around to. Now, if this is not you, Leo, it could be vice versa. But I'm going to read the cards as they are coming towards me. Leo, how your person views you is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Your person views you as feeling betrayed backstab disappointed they view this as being over they could have viewed you as doing this to them or they could view them as doing this to you spirit why does leo's person view them as a ten of swords why does leo's person view them as a ten of swords spirit why does leo's person view them as a ten of swords why don't thank you At the bottom of the deck, you have the mountain, you have the female energy, and you have the book. 
And Leo, what you're telling me is, look, sexy, I need some more information. I haven't heard from this person. I want, I want to work on this with this person. But sexy, listen, I want to manifest this person. I want to heal and reconcile with this person. I want to return to this person. But I have some blockages, some obstacles, and some challenges here. And I don't know if this person can look past this. And this is what I'm trying to figure out, sexy. Got it, Leo. Well, Leo, the person views you as um, being backstabbed betrayed they view you as wanting to manifest them they view you as wanting to move forward and get over this betrayal or this ending with this bridge card energy spirit why does leo's person view leo as wanting to move forward from this ending why does leo's person view leo as wanting to move forward from this ending At the bottom of the deck, you have stress, rain, and key. And what you're telling me is, look, sexy, I just want an opportunity. I want a commitment with this person, but I'm stressed because it seemed like we've been here before. Got it, Leo. Well, Leo, your person views you as wanting to move forward from this ending with this bridge card energy, and they view you as wanting a reconciliation, wanting to renew this connection. Spirit, why does Leo's person view Leo as wanting a reconciliation? Why does Leo's person view Leo as wanting a reconciliation? Why does Leo's person view Leo... At the bottom of the deck, you have love, consciousness, and growth. And Leo, what you're telling me is, look, sexy, I'm aware that I love this person. I want to grow with them. You know, I have a lot of emotions for them, and I feel like it's a lot to be explored, a lot to come in this connection. Got it, Leo. Leo, your person views you as uh, being very confident that they're going to reconcile with you. They view you as being, this is your card, Leo. This is like, uh, they view you as being very confident that you will get this reconciliation. They view you as wanting to move beyond this ending and come in and manifest a new beginning. They view you as wanting to return. Spirit, why does Leo's person view Leo as being confident about this reconciliation? Why does Leo's person view... At the bottom of the deck, you have twin flames, second chance, and abundance. And you like, look sexy. I got my money in order. I'm feeling good. You know, my finances, everything just rolling in. I'm so attracted to this person, so I want a second chance. Got it, Leo. Well, Leo, your person views you as being confident about this reconciliation because they may be um, going through some financial challenges, but I think your person views you as being financially stable as well, and they may feel view you as being confident because your finances are in order, and this is why you want this reconciliation. Maybe before you weren't financially ready and now you are financially ready so but they view you as being very confident in getting this reconciliation spirit leo's person view leo as being very confident in um having this reconciliation with them they view leo as um financially like you face these financial challenges tell me about this for leo At the bottom of the deck, you have insecurities, date night, and here's the time. And you know what? You tell me, Leo, you like look sexy. 
I could grow old with this person. But I don't know if they want to set my offer. I want to take them out. God. Well, Leo, your person views you as being very confident and reconciling with them. And they view you as um, spending a lot of money when you hang out with your friends. Okay, so your, per your person views you as betraying them because you spend more time with your friends. They view you as being very confident, like they always won't be there when you're ready to come back. And instead of spending time with them, you spending this time with your friends. That's how your person's viewing you, Leo. Spirit. Leo's person view Leo as betraying them. And they view Leo as being very confident and coming back whenever they feel like it. They view Leo as betraying them by spending more time with friends. Can you tell Leo about this? Got it. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Wands, the Lovers, and the Queen of Cups. And you like look sexy with this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You know, I love them. I want to express my emotions. But sexy, I ain't going to lie, right? I am a little confused because I do got somebody else. And I need to make a decision. Okay, Leah. You said it, not me. I don't know what you want me to do. Leo, when well, your person views you as betraying them because you spend more time with these friends and with this full card energy, some of you are dealing with the Aries, they view you as taking a lot of risk in this connection. And they view these risks as being very toxic. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. They view these risks as being is what's restricting and binding this connection. Okay. And with this sun card energy, this is you, Leo. This is three major arcana. So your person view you as need to go undergo needing to undergo a spiritual awakening. Your person views you as being aware of your toxic ways and your risky behavior that you experience when you're hanging out with these friends. So let's see what's being illuminated with this sun card energy. Because something's being exposed about this toxicity. You know what? Let's let's clarify the full core. Let's clarify the risk. Because they're saying the toxicity is illuminated. They know about it. Spirit, what are these risks that Leo's person view Leo is taking? What are these risks that Leo's person view them as taking? Um, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Leo, Google Angel number 444. You like, look sexy. Yeah, I took a pause. I needed a break. You know, I had to get my stability, my finances in order. So I held back from this person. You know, I had to sacrifice this connection. Yes, I did reject them. Got it, Leo. Well, the risk that your person feels like you take is with this Queen of Wands energy in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Whatever, whatever risk you took, it made your person feel very jealous. Jealous about you giving to more than one person. They felt like this wasn't fair. It wasn't balanced. And they view you as being quite selfish. Quite selfish with this Nine of Pentacles. They view you as just worried about you and not worrying about them. And that was the betrayal. And they felt like that was risky. And they, your person views that as being um, toxic, unnerving, and it made them jealous. So if you were with somebody else, they were a little jealous. Leo, how your person feels about you, how your person feels about you is this eight of cups and this snake card energy. Your person feels like they need to walk away from you because you emotionally drain them. They feel like you're, you're um, toxic, you're challenging. They feel like you're inflexible. You want everything your way. Your person feels like you're like um, going out there after other sexual exploits. It could be vice versa. Your person also feels like that you had another lover, an ex, that was disrupting this connection. 
Your person also feels like they are open for love as long as there's stability. As long as there's stability. Because you could have had some financial issues in the past. But if you got these issues in place and if you got rid of these others and there's true stability here, then your person will consider this connection. Because this is what's hanging in the balance. Do I remain single because I got everything I need or no? Spirit. Leo's person feels like Leo is open for love now that there's stability. However, they feel like there's some disruption with an ex-partner. At the bottom of the deck, you have the two of wands, the magician, and the wheel of fortune. Some of you are dealing with a fixed sign such as an Aquarius, a Scorpio, another Leo, or a Taurus, or an Aquarius, Virgo, G Gemini, or Scorpio. And Leo, what you're telling me is like, look, so sexy. My, my, my luck changed. The will of fortune has spun in my favor. You know, things is going my way. So name, you know, I'm ready to make that decision. I chose. And I want to manifest what I want. I got everything I need now, sexy. God. Well, Leo, your person feels like that as long as there's stability, that uh, they want, they would accept this offer. But it's happiness, this commitment, but you have to put this work in and remain focused on them. They want you to be open and honest because this window is um, wide open. They want you to be open and honest, and as long as the two of you can work on this, that, you know, they're willing to try to give it a try as long as there's stability. But, Leo, your person also feels like they're happy by themselves, like they have everything they need. I really need to put that out there. So let's see what this Ace of Pentacles is about. They could feel like you have new love. Spirit, why does Leo's person feel the Ace of Pentacles? Why does Leo's... At the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress, the King of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. And you like, look, sexy. I am real busy. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, if this person want to nurture this connection with me, want to grow with me. But I am about getting my money with this Empress and King of Pentacles energy. Some of you are dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Others of you are dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. So, Leo, you telling me, look, you busy, you about your money, you know, and you trying to grow your abundance. You trying to be real wise and stable. You want to take things slow. Leo, and for some of you, you are juggling with your baby mama or your baby daddy. Mm -hmm. Well, Leo, your person feels like if there is stability here, okay, and you got rid of the toxic ways, that they are open to this fresh start with this page of cups energy, with this soulmate, but they do not want this third party situation. But they are open to a reconciliation, Leo. And they want this reconciliation to be one of stability with this Knight of Pentacles. They feel like they waited a very long time for this. And that's what the Ace of Pentacles is about. Leo, what's on your person's mind when it comes to you? What's on the person's mind is this offer. They could have learned about an offer you made to another or it, it what's on their mind is their child. But what this is the love reading more or less. So your person was on their mind is they could have learned about an offer that you made or they're thinking about making you an offer because they feel like this is a spiritual connection or they could have learned about an offer that you made to someone else, which was a bird. Leo. Your person is thinking about how they had hope and you ghosted them. Your person is thinking about how they regretted not listening to their intuition the last time. They regret not listening to their intuition the last time. That's what I heard. Spirit. 
Leo's person is thinking about an offer that was made that burdened them. They're thinking about how they had hope and they all they they abandoned hope. Like it's like they gave up on this connection. And Leo's person is thinking about how they regretted not listening to their intuition. Can you tell Leo about this for the clock watcher? At the bottom of the deck, you have the Hierophant. Some of you are dealing with the Taurus. You have the Knight of Swords. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. And you have the Nine of Swords. And you like, look sexy. I'm losing sleep at night. I'm worried. You know, I got all this stuff on my mind. It's like I'm battling my thoughts. Will this person forgive me? It's like you want them to forgive you real fast. You want a commitment real fast. And you don't know if this going to happen. Because right now, y'all not together. Well, Leo, for your person, they're, you know, they regret not listening to their intuition. And this is what they're thinking about. And your person could be holding back, keeping some thoughts close to themselves. Because they just want to heal with the star card energy. Some of you dealing with Aquarius. So your person is thinking about shutting down like as to protect themselves and to keep healing. And with this high priestess card, this is my intuition card. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. But Leo, your person is saying, look, I just want to just fall back. I, I, I don't want to really talk to you right now. I'm just trying to heal on my own. And I'm going to keep to myself because I regret not listening to my intuition the last time. And I already knew how this was going to play out. So your person is thinking about not responding to you. And they could think that you have some more secrets. Spirit, can you tell Leo why the cross watcher is thinking about the high priestess. Why is it? Because we're going to clarify the, why the, the high priestess here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the six of swords, the seven of swords, and death. And what you telling me, Leo, some of you are done with the Scorpio sexy, I change. I ended my old ways. I'm no longer sneaky. You know, I'm... I'm, it's interesting because this is 13 and this is 13. I want to move on from that. I'm trying to strategize a plan, you know, try how to move forward and heal this connection. Because we we over right now, but I want to transform that. I got it, Leo. Well, Leo, your person is thinking about maybe you sent them some messages with this Eight of Wands energy. And they're thinking about not responding to these messages with the same man energy. They're trying to, uh, until they gain the new perspective. When they gain the new perspective and figure this out and figure out what they may sacrifice, then they may make a decision to respond to you. And when they respond to you, they're going to respond with this queen of swords energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Because they want to know the truth. Why do you want to hang on to them? Why are you returning? What made you make this decision? You know, um, your person is just trying to get this clarity. You understand? Because they've been hurt. The Queen of Swords is someone who has been hurt. And they're just speaking their truth at this point. And this is why your person isn't responding right now, because I'm clarifying this high priestess. So yes, they received your messages. No, they're not just ignoring you. They're processing. At the root of the matter for your person, Leo, is the Ace of Swords and the Compass. At the root of the matter is your person is trying to make a decision about this love and which direction it's going. They're trying to listen to their intuition and figure out should they end this connection or should they make a decision and accept it back. Your person is looking for clarity. That's at the root of the matter. At the root of the matter, your person um, feels like um, you did not express your love. At the root of the matter, your person feels like they're not going to respond right now. They want to make sure things have transformed. Some of you have done with a Scorpio. But at the root of the matter, your person could have felt like you was ignoring them at one point. Because somebody's not talking here or not expressing their emotions. Because your person is trying to gain clarity and make a decision. 
At the root of the matter for your person, Leo, is they want you to let go of control issues and, you know, decide, do you want to move towards a higher level of commitment? Your person doesn't want to be in this connection for kicks and giggles. You have a very serious person here. Like, they're in this energy. Spirit. At the root of the matter for Leo's person is Leo's person wants a decision made as to which direction is this connection going. Leo's person at the root of the matter feels like they're not going to express their love right now. They feel like something's ended as far as communication. And Leo's person feels trapped. And look, they feel like they were disrespected is what I'm hearing in this connection. Can you tell Leo about this at the root of the matter? At the bottom of the deck, you have the page of wands, the magician, and the will of fortune. And you like sexy. How many times, like I tell you, I change. I want to show this person I want to fresh start. I choose them. I got everything I need now. You know, they making me mad. Yeah. Well, Leo, at the root of the matter for your person is this King of Pentacles energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And your person is like, listen, I need to take my time. I need to make sure this is a practical and wise decision. I want to make sure that this is moving towards a higher level of commitment. And with this judgment card energy, this is why your person your person just wants to make a wise decision. Some of you are done with a Scorpio. They're trying to make a wise decision as to whether they should reconcile or not. Because they're very guarded. They feel like um, you could have had a lot of secrets. They could have feel like that they could feel like they're at the root of the matter that they're suspicious of you. But your person is going to stand their ground. I want to see what this nine of wands is about at the root of the matter for your person, Leo. Spirit, why is the nine of wands at the root of the matter for Leo's person? Why is the nine of wands here? At the bottom of the deck, we have death, the ten of pentacles, and the tower. So, Leo, you like look sexy. I'm going to surprise them. I, I change. I change. I want stability. I feel lost without them. I don't like the fact that this is over. I want a commitment. And I ended another commitment to have this commitment. I want to surprise them. Or for some of you, Leos, you're saying... I want out of this commitment, this connection. I'm seeing you got out of another commitment or a connection or something. I think it's different from this energy. I'm seeing where you closed out a connection or left some place or someone because it was a lot of toxicity. A lot of toxicity. And your person now has some regrets. That's for some of you. Well, Leo, at the root of the matter, I asked what this nine of wands was. a suspicious, this guarded behavior. Somebody standing in ground. Again, this king of pentacles showed up. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. And the queen of cups. Someone. Is guarding the fact at the root of the matter that they have this Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy that they want to grow with. And with this Empress card, some of you are dealing with the parent of your child or Libra or Taurus. So, Leo, at the root of the matter for your person is they want to know the truth about where this is going. And they feel like you're keeping a secret and you're guarding something from... You're guarding, you're, you're guarding something regarding another connection and possibly from your baby mama or your baby dad. Because this is like two energies here, Leah. I just want to keep it all the way 100 with you. Now, Leah, 
The blockage for your person is you. The blockage is your person feels like you're not taking action towards them. And they want to know why. They think you got somebody new. The blockage for your person is with uncertainty and hunger. Your person, the blockage is they're like, do I still want this the way I used to? Or do Leo still want this the way they used to? They unsure. The blockage for your person is they felt like you didn't operate in this connection with integrity and that you weren't really open to this connection. Or maybe they felt like you were married or in another connection. They feel like you weren't open for this connection and you were not being all the way honest. And that's the blockage for your person. Now, again, if it's vice versa, it's vice versa. Spirit. The blockage for Leo person is they feel like the information wasn't being shared about what Leo was pursuing. And they're not sure if they still want this connection the way they used to. The blockage for Leo's person is they're not sure if this situation involves integrity and if Leo is being honest. There we go. Whoa. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. And you like little sexy. All right, this is the truth. I want to fight for this connection. And I am being accused of a lot of things, and I'm trying to get my defense. I regret the fact that I didn't end this connection as fast as I should. I regret it. Yeah. You regret not pursuing a commitment with someone else. But you do want to fight for this connection. Well, the blockage for your person, Leo, is they don't know if they want this now. They're thinking about this with this four cups because all they can focus on is this third party situation and they don't see all the love you're trying to give to them. Your person feels like they want to reject any actions you're taking towards them because they're listening to their intuition. And your person, the block is just, they feel stuck. They don't know what to do. Let's see why your person feels stuck with this eight of swords. Spirit, why does Leo's person feel stuck? At the bottom of the deck, we have the magician. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, a Virgo, a Gemini, or a Scorpio. You have strength. This is you, Leo. And the page of swords. And you're like, look, sexy, I watch him. I watch him. And I'm determined to get what I want. I'm not manipulating them. Why can't they see? Why can't they see? But I watch him. Got it. Well, Leo, your person feels stuck because we clarify this eight of swords. They're indecisive. They're at a crossroads with this two of wands. They're stuck because they don't know if they want this fresh start and if it will work out. And they want to make sure you're not in a third-party situation. They're stuck because they don't know if you're going to put the work in this time. I keep hearing, why is this any different than the last time? The potential outcome for you and your person, Leo, is the Seven of Cups and the Star. So the potential outcome is that you guys have many options and many opportunities is what I'm hearing to heal this connection, okay? The potential outcome is... someone being guarded and rather be by themselves because they don't they trying to heal because somebody had other options and this really hurt them this person is confused they don't know if this can be worked out they don't know like there this is a lot of confusion that needs to be healed so your person's very cautious and they just like for right now i just want to be by myself because right now it's like 
they don't they can't really give to this connection the way they want to and this is because they trying to consider should i stay has things changed with leo what's going to be different this time so right now they're unavailable until they finish processing spirit why is the potential outcome someone deciding should they stay because they feel like someone can give them all they need At the bottom of the deck, you have the Emperor. Some of you are done with an Aries or a Taurus. You have the Three of Wands and a Hermit. And you like sexy, you know I'm wiser today. Okay, this getting old though. It's getting old. You know, I want to put the work in. I told this person I want to put the work in. And I'm just sitting here trying to protect myself too. Sexy. I'm over here trying to gain control over the situation. No, but I'm about to look to see what else is out there. This person taking too long for you. Well, Leo, the your person is trying to figure out should they stay because there may be a new passion at the beginning here, something they manifested. In relation to work, a contract, or collaborating with another. And if this is going to be equal give and take. This person wants to know, is this going to be fair to me? Are we going to talk about everything this time? You know, are you going to, is this going to be a fresh start? So this, these are all the things this person is processing. Let's see why justice is in a potential outcome, like how they want this to be made right. Spirit, why is justice in a potential outcome for Leo's person? Why is justice in a potential? At the bottom of the deck, we have the magician strength and the page of swords. And you like sexy, I'm watching the situation closely. I don't know how long I'm a... Uh, Stay strong. I'm starting to feel like they manipulating me. And I ain't down for these games, sexy. God. Well, your person feels like you need to make this right. Or you will miss this opportunity with this five of cups. And they feel like you need to take control over the situation and make it right. Some of you are doing with the Aries or Taurus. Your person feels like you controlled the situation and you um, missed the opportunity with them by having all these controls. And they feel like it's only right to make you wait with this four swords energy. Let me clarify this emperor. I'm going to clarify this emperor. Spirit, why is the emperor here in the potential outcome? Why is the emperor here in the potential outcome? At the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Magician. So, your person, you like, look, I want to make this happen. I want to surprise them with this commitment. I understand your point, Leo. But the control your person is exercising is because, because we're clarifying this emperor. The control your person is exercising is to be alone and to think about all that has happened because they're wiser than that. And the reason is because they're trying to figure out if they just want to leave this alone and let it in. Or if they want to transform the connection. So your person is taking this time to be alone to make their decision about should they stay or should they leave. You, you understand where I'm going with this? They love you, but your person, it just seemed like a lot of damage was done. And you seem serious right now, but your person not so sure. You know, like a person can't jump in your head if all the evidence they have points to something else. And this is why the reason for your reading is a nine of pentacles remaining single. So let me get you some advice for this connection, Leo. 
spirit, what advice you have for Leo regarding this connection? What advice you have for Leo regarding this connection? Spirit, what advice you have for Leo regarding this connection? What advice do you have for Leo? Leo. Spirit is saying, surrender. Let go of control issues. Just have faith that everything will work out. You know, detach from this for a minute. Just have faith. And let things happen the way they need to happen. Because your love life is ascending to a higher level. And just give it some time. Just give it some time, Leo. Leo. Spirit is saying, do not sit here in regrets with the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Okay? Spirit is saying, do not sit here in regrets. Don't do it. You know what I mean? Things happen. And now you realize this could be the one. Okay? So Spirit is saying, yes, this could be the one, but do not sit here in these regrets. It's, you know, even if it's, it is a loss, don't fret too much over it. And just detach and have faith that everything will be okay. Spirit is recommending that you... <laughs> Maybe write them a letter. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy. Journal for yourself. The process. All that has happened. And spirit is also saying. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. All is not lost. And healing is available here Leo. So extend your lighthearted energy. Maybe write them a letter. But don't get lost in these regrets. Yes, this could be the one, but give it some time. Give it some time, because it looks like you want this person to rush and make a decision, and they're not quite ready. Leo, 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 this has been your edition of Sexy Is Snitching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Leo. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live, peace, Leo, and just give it a little bit more time. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Terror.